go. go. Uh oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> We've been through some times with these dogs. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> you learn tricks of the trade. At first, we sat there and filled it up, wasted time. Not anymore. You know, yeah, you learn. Time is money. Hi everybody, Bridget with Jump Orange here, and I'm out in Rockledge, Florida today with 321 Inflatables. I've got Manny here and Keith. We're gonna follow them around today, get some tips and tricks, see how they run their rental company, and show you guys around. So we're gonna see first how they store everything. Right. We're actually at a storage unit right now. Last time we showed you a garage, so this is a different way that you can store things. Um, Keith, how many storage units do you have? Right now, we currently have two storage units. Okay. We got one here in Rockledge and one in Melbourne, which is about 20 minutes away from here. Awesome. Let's take a look at the trailer. They got the pickup truck. It's a uh, six by 12. Yeah. It's nice because yeah. it's an enclosed trailer, so you don't have to worry about like weather and stuff. You can keep it secured. What brand Dolly is that, Keith? That's badass dollies right here. Oh, awesome. Yes, How man. you like it? I love it. It's a game changer. It worked good. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. it makes a big difference, right? right? It's, yeah. it's, it's a must have. It's definitely worth it. Yeah, if not, like even just the incline of this ramp can like slow you down when yeah, there's like a 600 pound inflatable. Like, definitely. well, we are going to follow them to their first stop today. It's actually a restaurant on the beach, which is really cool. Yes, uh, what's the name of the restaurant, Keith? Area 142. Area 142. So we will see you all there. Coco Beach, Florida. All right, everybody, here we are at Area 142 with 321 Inflatables. Yes, sir. How long have you guys been uh, helping out this account? Man, we had this account for about two months now. Yeah, every other Friday, they get a slide and let the people that come from the beach and play on. It's nice. It's That's nice. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys want to take a look, this is a beautiful outdoor restaurant. They got a nice lawn area. Yep. It's just a block from the beach, so they'll get a lot of that beach traffic after. Uh, this is really cool to see because it's a, a restaurant that's renting from you. A lot of people in the inflatable industry might not even think outside the box of right. just like right. schools and backyards. Right. right. But this is just a, another opportunity for y'all. Another opportunity, yeah. Yeah. And it's awesome because it's just such a beautiful setting. So right. we're going to get some really nice, nice. Uh, shots today, some nice videos and pictures. All right, let's follow them Coco to the Beach, trailer Florida. and get unloaded. Let's do it, y'all. So you guys got your sandbags out? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Especially for uh, this AstroTurf, right? Right. No Can't, stakes. No stakes no here. Stakes. So when you guys are setting it up right now, how do you know how to unroll it? Like, what's your method? Do you go pool first or do you go back end first? We go back end first. Okay. Take the back end right here and lay that out and just roll it out. Perfect. All right, so right now they are unrolling the Jaguar 19 foot slide. It's a very popular one. A lot of people who have gotten it say that it rents out really well. So Keith. Yes ma'am. What are a couple of things that you always have to bring on the job and not necessarily like uh, tools, but mm -hmm. things that you bring for yourself to keep yourself like going throughout the day? Well, personally, you gotta have band-aids on this job oh yeah, yeah. You cut yourself so we keep a little first aid kit with us of course you got to have plenty of water being out here we especially in florida towels. you got to keep clean towels and that's it outside everything else for the bounce house what are like your top five tools that you typically bring a hammer and a wrench Those a wrench too yep a wrench and a pair of pliers Pliers. Pair of pliers, pair of pliers. Because we get to some of these houses where the water holes is stuck. It's just like rusted shut. Right, right, right. And sometimes you can't get it with your hands. Yeah. So you just bring hammers, a plier, wrench set, needle nose pliers, and that's about it. Cool. Yes, ma'am. So I saw that you got the hose. You brought both those hoses? Uh, yes. No, this hose is from uh, back there. Right? Okay, so one yeah. of theirs, and then is the yellow one yours? Yeah, or? but you keep an extra one just in case because the customer, the customer you never might, know. You never know. They might not have one. Yeah. And can also, you, can you show me? Yeah. It's a game changer. You need it because uh, it'll take you forever to fill the pool up. Can I see it? Let me yeah. see what it. Yeah, just make sure you keep one of these. Yeah. So what is that called? It's a splitter. A splitter. The, yeah, a splitter. You can, so you're splitting their hose so that you can connect one to the yeah, pool and, and then one to the top, one to the top of the slide. Yes. That makes sense. That way you can tell the customer uh, turn it off when they're when it whenever it fills halfway instead of waiting there. Time is money. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, 
and you know it saves you a couple minutes there are like little parts and pieces that you have to kind of get yourself yeah, yeah you learn tricks of the trade during time at first we sat there and filled it up and it took you know waste of time not and, anymore you know, yeah you learn you learn tricks of the trade that's why i love the jump orange units because they, they keep the hole right here yeah it's, it's funny how many times people ask us what that's for um, and yeah, I'm like, it's to help you keep, out. Keep hold the place while you go to work. Place. Why you yep. go to work, you know? Exactly. Yeah. I'm excited to see the Jaguar. Yeah, yeah, let's see it. All right, everybody, as you can see here, they've got three hoses going. So that splitter we showed earlier, they're gonna connect one hose. The red one goes into the spigot. Uh, the blue one, I think, is the one that they're gonna attach to the misting system. If you wanna look over here, they'll show you how they do it. With, with the new XD series, it's self-explanatory. It's so easy. You just like twist it right on. Wham, bam. Twist it on just like that. It's that simple. Strap here. Strap that. Now we're ready to blow it up. So as it's inflating, um, they are adjusting the top part of the slide so that when it inflates, it inflates properly, it goes up. You can't just plug it in and let it do its thing. You actually have to kind of manipulate it at first. And then once it gets enough air in it, it'll fully pop up on its own. Then right here, you can see there's actually two blower tubes. So they only need to use one blower tube uh, with the blower that was provided. And then the second blower tube, they'll actually close off. So that's another question <laughs> we get often is, uh, why are there two tubes? Why didn't I get two blowers? Well, you only need one blower. Um, actually, the use of that would be more for businesses that run the inflatables all the time. So if you're running the inflatables all the time and you've got a bunch of blowers going, they might get overheated after, you know, 12 hour day. And you wanna be able to switch out the blower without having to deflate the inflatable. So you can actually attach the second blower and then remove uh, the first blower to cool off for a bit. All right, perks of the job. We got one of the Area 142 bartenders going down the slide. Are you ready for me? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> what kind of stuff do you like to use to clean the inflatables? Simply, Simply green. green. Yeah. Yep. That's my like number one recommendation. Simply Dawn. green. Yeah, that's what we use. Dawn dish soap. Not too heavy with the Dawn. A hospital sanitizer yeah. just to keep it clean for the kids. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. What's the uh, like weirdest thing you guys have had to clean off your inflatable or the worst thing you've had to clean off of it? I'll say the uh, stringy. Silly string? Silly string, silly string. No. So far, like, the worst thing is going to a house with a lot of dog crap in the yard that they don't pick up. Oh man, I see the posts on Facebook all the time. That's where probably the worst thing. Call out the customer, like, how dare you have a party with, with all this around? With dog poop everywhere. If this super bad, we got to tell them, hey, you got to come clean it up. Yeah. Have they ever like asked you to clean it up? No, they haven't asked, but if it's one or two, it's been times where we cleaned it up because we didn't want to bother them. Yeah. We just picked it up. It was, you know, one or two That's piles. nice. That's like good customer service. Right. I know some companies will charge a cleaning fee for that. We've been thinking about that too. Yeah. We've been thinking about that yeah, too. Yeah, you got to do extra work, you know? Right. So here we are at stop number two. It's a residential drop off. This is a repeat client right here. They've been going with us for about four years. <laughs> Three years, I'm sorry, about three years. Oh, that's I, awesome. Yeah, the repeat customers keep the business going. Get you know that loyalty. I mean? yeah. Clients like this, we give them certain uh, perks, you know, maybe uh, the whole weekend once in a while or extra day when we can do it when we're not that busy. Yeah, yes, for sure. Yes, yes. So hey. tarp or no tarp? Tarp. Always tarp. Always tarp. Nice. Unless it's sweet like the last one. Yeah, uh, the yeah. Area 142. And I see, are you guys using a rubber mallet? No, what not not around here. Sometimes you can, but we've been in a lot of situations where it just is not strong it's enough. It's not strong enough yes. to get in the ground. Especially the older houses. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, the ground. So yeah, because you might have like limestone actually yeah. under there that's stopping you right. since we're closer to the beach and stuff. And before you start staking, always check with the customer and make sure there's no uh, 
any lines or anything under there. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, when you say yeah, lines, yeah, septic, septic tanks or anything. Septic tank yes, yes. and lines Sprinkler like. Sprinkler systems or anything. Just always systems. check. Always check with the customer. Better safe than sorry. You yeah, know? definitely. Yeah. So as you can see, Keith and Manny are inflating. This is our shark sided combo. Uh, this one's really awesome because you have the bounce house and the slide. You're going to see here once it inflates, it's got the surfboard with a nice shark bite out of it. Yes, this is our most rented out unit right is here. It? Yes, yes, the fan favorite. I don't know if it's being close to the beach or what, but people, people love this. People love unit. it. They love it. They it's love like a it. perfect theme for yes, this area. Yes, it's our go to. Go, 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 go. Uh oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go. Yeah. And speaking of the roof, there is an escape hole. Yes, in case if you guys ever it need. Collapses. Yes. Three, what? two, one, inflatable! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, appreciate it. Three, two, one, inflatable, baby. <laughs> Thank you so much, 321 Inflatables, for letting us follow you around today. This one is Keith, this is Manny, and they're always here to help you out. And if you want to, you can hit them up at this phone number over here, or you can email them right over here, or make sure you follow them on Instagram and Facebook right here. Thank you guys so much. Yeah.